Whoops, you caught me in my robe again. <laughs> I was just sitting here after uh, working on the clay today and getting ready to download uh, my videos onto my computer. And the one camera that had a bad uh, memory card uh, isn't letting me download what I put on it. So the only view I have tonight is the one from the not necessarily best view. Um, but it's a view and it, at least you can see what I did. Um, I've got extra memory cards downstairs. I just got to go get one and put it in this camera and make sure the camera is not acting up. So I just tried to read the uh, memory cards, a little tiny SD card, and it wouldn't read it. So there's something wrong with the card. All right. Just want to let you know that before I get started today. Time to play with some play. All right, I've uh, started the rocks that he's sitting on. Um, and I've also changed the title of this piece from Rocky Mountain High, which is a John Denver song, and I might run into co copyright uh, <laughs> problems calling it that. And quite honestly, I don't want to have everybody saying, well, that's what Rock, uh, John Denver sang. And I'm not uh, here to promote John Denver's music. And uh, I just it just popped in my head yesterday. I think a better one, and it came to me today, to change the title to Under Heaven's Roof. I think that kind of says it all. If you've ever climbed a mountain and sat on the peak of it and you look out over the beauty and the land that's below you, you'll understand why that title is apropos for this piece because nothing more moving spiritually than actually being out in nature and seeing the creation wrought by a all-powerful being, a loving all-powerful being. I don't know what your religion is. It doesn't matter. I just uh, thought I'd add that. Anyway, let's get on with the, today's uh, work, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just going to run my drywall tool over the uh, clay just to give it kind of a, a feel for stone. Now I've in the past used a wired brush to do this but I think this will work out just fine too. I'm always experimenting. I wanted to get the uh, rocks done first only because the whole piece hinges on this uh, rock he's sitting on. And uh, that's why. Around here in Montana, you'll see rocks like this up on the mountainside. And you can just imagine somebody sitting on them and looking out over the uh, Madison River. Which is one of God's great creations. Where we travel to go to Bozeman every time. People have been traveling there for over 30,000 years. They've found evidence of that. 
uh, my kids and I went off uh, onto the dirt road towards the camping areas on the Madison and there are teepee rings near the uh, or just below the hill where there's a canyon and uh, I haven't been there since then. That was back in the yes, 80s or 90s when we would go there and take a look. There's cheap, there are teepee rings uh, on the uh, ground around here in Ennis. Um, they call them teepee rings, but there's no evidence that anybody actually lived there in a teepee. It's just, it's a ring of stones and it's quite a few of them and they call it a teepee ring because they figure that they put those rocks around the base of their teepees okay i'm going to take his hat and put it aside for now got to find a place to put it without wrecking it because i might just use this uh clay hat that i made but i probably will make a little more permanent one but I want to keep it the size and everything. Okay. Oh, and I changed the direction of his head. I thought it kind of lends, it, lends itself to the, the total movement of the arm and the hand. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that works out better that way. Now, I'm not going to go into detail on the body, only because uh, it's all going to be changing anyway. Because uh, his clothing is going to cover a lot of that anatomy. I do want the anatomy under the clothing, though. So I'll... Uh, do a short kind of blocky blocking in anatomy type thing now he's going to have a long shirt on it's not going to be leather because if it's the summertime the last thing you want to be wearing hiking through the mountains and in the hot, the mountains can get warm, especially uh, here in Montana. They can get up to 80, 90 degrees, and the last thing you want to be wearing is a warm set of leather goods. And on top of that, if you dressed back then in the 1830s and 40s out west, and you dressed like a Crow Indian in a, a beaded shirt. You could be, and you're, you're hunting beaver and pelts in a uh, Blackfoot or Blackfeet controlled area. You're going to be killed because... Uh, the crow were the enemy of the Blackfeet. So the last thing you'd want to do is come off looking like a uh, particular tribe. And uh, although if you had a beard, you kind of wouldn't be thought of as a crow Indian. But then again, if you're wearing clothing that is... Uh, similar to clo crow clothing um, then you're going to be in big trouble with the Blackfeet because they'll think you're a friend of the, their enemy so it's best to be neutral Whew. 
Yeah, I raised his arm. So I could work underneath it. All right, I've been reduced to one camera because my SD card is giving me an error warning on my other camera. So you may have my hands in the way occasionally, and I'm sorry if that's the case. Um, nothing I can do about it. Usually I can just take the uh, SD card out and reposition it. And it's fine, but uh, for some reason, it's being persistent, even though I've been recording on that card so far today. I'm getting just a little carried away with the uh, muscles in his arms. And his chest. I had to put the hat back on just to see how it looks. And I like it even more. I think I'll make the hat more permanent next time. Um, and I can fill in underneath it because they're not going to be able to cast it with the, uh, from underneath the hat. So if I use this hat as a pattern for the size, I sized it to his head so that it's not too small or too big. And uh, even the crown of the hat is, is measured to match his head size so that uh, that doesn't look odd or too big. So, um, yeah, I'll probably have the hat stick out a little bit more like that so that it's seen better from different angles. Anyway, I think I did pretty good today. I'm happy with the... Uh, the way he's coming out and uh we'll just keep working on it a little bit at a little by a little bit until it's uh finally done so anyway good night everybody i'll see you next time and uh hopefully i'll be here tomorrow um it just depends on whether i have to uh, do something tomorrow with a foundry or not i don't know yet i'm just going day by day i've only got 18 days left before the foundry closes and so something's got to happen probably within the next week or two. All right, everybody. Good night. GoPro, stop recording. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.